Hi everyone, um, I had a couple of questions posed to me regarding digital stamps and kind of how I print them out, what software I use, how to kind of format them. So I thought I would do a really quick tutorial on what I use and what has worked for me. Now I've printed all of my digital stamps on simple staples cardstock. Um, I buy by the ream typically when it's on sale or if I'm trading in my ink cartridge, uh, empty ink cartridges for three dollars a piece. Uh, one, it's recycling. Two, it's three bucks off. Really? Can you get better? <laughs> so that's what I use for um, my Copic coloring and um, watercolor pencils and H2O's. I use all for a lot of things and I found some pretty consistent and um, positive results. So this is how I put together a print sheet. I start off with MS Word and then I go to um, insert picture from file and then I have a separate folder on my computer for digital stamps and then it gives me an option to select a stamp and I'm gonna click on this um, cheer on you and once you once it um, is plunked down on your page and you click on it once you'll see that there's a hard line around it that means that it's formatted to the spacing so if you double click on the image it'll bring up the picture format and under the layout tab it's um, you have several options on the wrapping style so in other words the things are going to be near it in front of it and back of it and what I use is the tight selection which allows you to move the images on the page and fit them better in other words you get more images to the page rather than lots of white space since you're going to be majority of the time cutting these out so I have selected tight and what happens when I click OK the exterior changes to an editable field so at this point I could change the orientation if I want to fit them better or if I need them on an angle or you know at minimum all you could do what you could do is grab the image and move it over so I try to fit it as close to the edge as possible because I do cut these out and now that this image is free of its original formatting you could right click on it and do copy click anywhere else on the page and right click again and do paste. What it'll do is it'll reproduce the image and then you can move it over. One of the things to watch out for, in particular for digi stamps from Greeting Farm, they have a very healthy surrounding white space. And for some of that for some of those images it means that if you move it too close to a neighbor, it starts to let's see, it starts to cut off the original image. So you just need to move it around until you see that both images are complete and let me show you an example of one that is much more pronounced than this particular one and I think it's one of the this one right here birthday boy now see if I click uh, click on it once it shows the hard line edit means that it has embedded formatting so I'm just gonna double click go to the layout page click on tight click OK now I can move it around now if I move the image down and you see all my above images all the images above are not cut off they're complete and I right click do copy click somewhere on the page do uh, right click paste it creates the image again for me but watch this image has a very wide um, white space border so moving it this close cuts off the original image so you have to move it a little further away and the way you'll see it is that when you click on the image there'll be little circles which gives you an opportunity to resize it and this is another option once you have untethered the original formatting of the picture you could change the size as long as you go from the corner it keeps the ratio of width and length equal to each other so it doesn't distort the image so if you want a larger one and a smaller one you could do that so that's a couple of things that you could do um, by using MS Word now that's the program I go to immediately because most computers most 
Microsoft-based computers. Obviously, Macs don't um, have this as a standard program, but this is what I use, and it works for me, and I love being able to resize digital images because that's one of the options that you have with a digi stamp rather than a physical rubber stamp. So this I would not be able to resize. You get the idea. So if anyone has any other questions, um, or if you would like this kind, of, these kind of tutorials, I'd be more than happy to. Techie stuff is kind of where most of my knowledge is, and I try to apply it to crafting as much as possible. And I love the option of digital stamps because this gives you an opportunity to mass produce. Now, um, there's a way to line up an image in the center of an A2 size piece of paper so it will print for you exactly in the center once you print it out. So you can print out already embedded image on the page that you're going to use as a card. It's a wonderful option to be able to have especially if you're printing off I don't know 80, 100 um, cards. So if again if anyone has any questions or if there's something in particular that you would like for me to cover in a tutorial please leave me a comment. Thanks for watching everyone.